What's good people? So today I'm going to be trying to make a lo-fi beat. I love lo-fi beats, but I've never made a lo-fi beat in my life. And honestly, it's because I kind of avoided it. I've kind of just sat back, listened to lo-fi beats, chilled, vibe with them, appreciated it from the sidelines, but kind of stuck to what I know, which is like trap, afro, swing, that kind of vibe. Just stuck in my lane. But today I'm coming out the lane. I'm going to go over to the dark side, the lo-fi side, and I'm going to be trying to make a nice, a nice lo-fi beat, I'm gonna try. Before I get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now, join the family. Let's try and hit 10K subs before the end of the year. And yeah, let's get into it. Instead of using a sample, I'm actually gonna try playing some keys and try and find a melody that way. So I played a few notes in wrong, so I'm just going to fix them up in here quickly, quantize everything. Also what I want to do is just raise the BPM up a bit, I want it to be a bit faster. And now I'm going to try and give it that lo-fi effect. So first things first, I'm going to EQ it take out a lot of this low end. I'm gonna add in some reverb, so I'm gonna send it to a bus. I'm gonna choose some stock reverb space designer. I'm gonna leave it as the default and just up the reverb here. I'm gonna add in a compressor, just by double clicking here, and leave it as is. I'm also gonna add in a spreader, just to give it a bit more atmosphere. And she might take down some of this EQ. And I'm also going to add in a saturation tool. And I'm going to be using Waves, so this isn't a stock plugin. But basically, I'm going to be using this saturation tool to make it sound a bit more vintage. So the one I'm using is called Kramer Tape, and it's by Waves. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. Can you hear the difference now? Like when I put this up, Sounds just a, sounds a bit different. Sounds a bit more vintage. Now what I'm gonna do is just try and play a melody on top of this. So I came up with a melody to go on top of it. It's just another piano sound and it took me ages to pencil this in. But basically this is what I come up with. And I've used the same plugins as the first melody that I put in. The only thing I changed was adding in a directional mixer just to spread out the sound a bit more. Again, just giving it that vintage lo-fi feel. So now what I'm going to do is add in my drums. First things first, I want to add in like a clap or a snare or something. I got a bunch of sounds from Splice. I just typed in lo-fi drum kit, something like that, lo-fi beats. And I, I just basically downloaded a bunch of random different sounds I'm gonna go with this snare what I'm gonna do here is EQ up the high end
I'm gonna add in some reverb as well. And I'm also gonna add in a bus too. And I'm gonna use that saturation plugin again, that Kramer tape. And I'm gonna do the same thing, put the speed down to 7.5, change this well and flutter up to about 70. And then with this bus too, I'm gonna drag this up. When making lo-fi beats, I'm guessing it's a lot about the plugins you use. I mean, of course it's about the beat, but you gotta make sure you use the right plugins to give it that lo-fi sound, otherwise it's not gonna really sound like lo-fi. Now I wanna add in a hi-hat, let's see what we've got here. I like this one, let's change this to one eighth. Turn down the volume slightly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to join these together and I'm going to move them off centre center slightly. So I'm going to control A and literally just drag it just a bit. I'm going to add in another hi-hat on top of this. Actually what I'm going to do is drag this hi-hat to this sound. So I've changed up the hi-hat a bit. I changed what sound was going to be there. But I'm going to add in a second hi-hat anyway and just change up the pattern slightly. Alright, so I'm going to add an open hat now. I kind of want it to go like on the snare. Let's turn this down a little bit. Next thing I want to add in is a perk. Just to, I want to add some more variation to the drums. It kind of sounds just the same, like. Just want to change it up a little bit, you know? Again, just going to add some reverb. It's a bit too much. I'm just going to leave it like that, kind of simple. Right, it's time to add in the kick, just going to give it loads of rhythm. Kind of like that, I'm just going to duplicate those drums over. Usually I'll go in there and quantize my kicks because I was off, but I kind of like it like that. Gives it a real feeling. I mean, some of them are way off. I might just go in there and move it slightly. Alright, so one thing I'm going to do to the kick is add in a compressor. But I don't want to use the stock one. I'm going to use one from Waves, the CLA76, which is good. But you can just use a stock. I'm going to turn down the attack and turn up the release. So about here.
And I'm also going to EQ it a little bit. I'm going to take out some of that low end. Raise it up about the 200 slightly. So it kicks more. And I'm going to take out loads of this high. End. And then last but not least, I'm going to add on a bass. I already know what bass I want to use. So I'm going to be using a sub bass. So I'm going to be playing the octave up, just to try and figure out the melody to it. So I basically have everything done. I'm going to control it, move the bass down a few octaves, quantize everything. All right, I'm going to EQ it, but let me play everything together. So that's my attempt at making a lo-fi beat. For the first time, I think it's okay. I really like the melody, the keys on this. But yeah, if you like it too, make sure you hit this thumbs up button below. It really helps. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And also, quick announcement. I just dropped my new drum pack. It's called the London Kit. It's got real sounds from London. I literally sampled underground trains and some really unique sounds that you find in the city. So if you want to cop that, it's in the link in the description below. And it's only $5, but it's only going to be $5 for it really short amount of time grab yourself a bargain hit that link in the description now and that's about it for this video i'll see you in the future